What's cracking TNC squad? It's your girl CC, and I'm back with another bang girl. As you can see, one of my eyebrows look very much giving good. This one I gotta fix a little bit, but I'm gonna just give y'all the rundown of today. So today I am gonna be helping my sister prepare for her 16th birthday. Um, she is going to Orlando, Florida for her 16th birthday. Her, my mom, and her friend, they leave tomorrow at 1 30. So um today i'm going to fix her lashes because they got messed up and then i'm going to what was that what else i was going to say oh i'm going to also um do her eyebrows so i already did the tops of them they look very much given good but today i'm gonna do the bottoms of them and then i'm gonna help her make sure she got everything help my mama to make sure they got everything and that's pretty much it if you haven't watched yesterday's video already, go watch it because, well, earlier's video, today's video, but earlier's video already, then go watch it because you've seen me get my hair done and glow up. Yeah, I got my hair done, got some pop smoke braids, baby, got my nails done, which I'm obsessed with. I love having my nails and my hair done, so yeah, um, I haven't beat my face, but I'm probably going to beat my face just because my hair is done. And let me just tell y'all what happened. Let me tell you. So I went to sleep last night, right? At about 1.30. Me and Tay went to sleep because we knocked out. Early. And I woke up and my controller was broke. I woke up and my controller was broke. So... I woke up, I told Tay, like, the controller's not working. Like, I tried at 5 in the morning when I woke up to turn some on because it was pitch black in here. So, I woke up and I tried to turn the TV back on so I can go back to sleep. And the controller was broke. I was pretty zonked out. But, good thing we always get warranties. So, we just took it up there and I got a new controller. And I got a new warranty. So, I can got it. So, next year again. But, yeah, that's my new controller and all of that and it worked perfectly fine and then we got this controller that tay had broke but we had bought a new one but yeah look at that and then um tay got a new headset a brand new headset don't mind my room it looks pretty much getting busted but i'm about to clean up and i'm gonna come back to y'all I don't know. I need to brush my teeth. I need to... I already washed my face, but I need to brush my teeth and beat my face. So, so you guys, I haven't filmed for, like, the last... Let me see what time it is. Hour. But I made me some... peanut. I made me a peanut butter and jelly. Some yogurt. And water. Um, like I said, I'm trying to maintain on my healthy journey. I made my bed cleaned up my room but yeah today has just been a lot of drama it's always drama in this house but yeah that's why i'm so glad i'm not going out of town because it's always just arguments and drama and oh i don't know i hope you missed the plane because i don't even want to go anymore and you know all that toxic i'm gonna lay back here while they out laying at the beach i'm gonna lay back in the peace and quiet and get me some me time you know so those who was asking why I'm not going on a trip, I'm not going on a trip because it's too much drama. I'm going to stay home and I'm going to relax and I'm going to push out content for y'all because the other day I filmed four videos and when I was watching them back, I couldn't even post them because there's always just arguing in the background and drama in the background. There's always just something said in the background that it's like... It's so long of a chunk that I can't cut it out because at that part, it's a good part to post. So, yeah, when they're gone for the four day, five days, four nights, um, I'm going to get a lot of content out. Stay tuned. But, yeah, I'm going to eat my lunch, my yogurt and my, um, my yogurt and my peanut butter and jelly and watch some content. And after that, I'll come back to y'all. I might film me doing my little sister's eyebrows and fixing her lashes, so stay tuned. So, just finished up my lunch. I guess you can call it. Yeah, that was my lunch. Because I ate something this morning when I first woke up. And I got another go-gurt. 
because I literally love Gogurts. Like, I don't know why, but I just started liking them a lot. And yeah, I try to get my yogurt because you know, you need to get all your nutrients. So I don't really drink milk like that unless I eat cereal. And then I still really don't drink it. And then I only used to drink milk if I was eating cookies. And I don't eat cookies no more because I'm on a diet. So I don't get like no type of stuff from there. So I try like to. And I don't eat cheese like that. So I gotta get my dairy. So I use the Snogurts. Them my favorite ones, the Snogurts. So yeah, I get the strawberry or the I get any gogurt. As long as it's a go gogurt and a strawberry or blueberry like I was just eating, I'll take it. So I'm eating this and then I'm probably just gonna lay in the bed because there's nothing else for me to do. But I'm not even tired. Like I might beat my face and take some pictures. I don't know. I need to wash y'all. Uh, like look at that. Look at that. Y'all can barely see it, but like my laundry screen will wash me. But I just put some in the washer. I put like a cover in the washer for them. Um, so I'm not gonna be able to wash till then. And then I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to wash because it's so hard for me to get the stuff to the washer with these nails. So I might just do it tomorrow. But then again, it's like I know I'm not gonna wash tomorrow because nobody's gonna be here. And one thing about me, I don't walk around this house if nobody's here. Like I do, but I don't. I took my multivitamin with me tonight. I'm going to take my calcium. And yesterday, I took my calcium in the morning and my multivitamin at night. So, like, I've been trying to make sure I get in my calcium and my multivitamin every single day. Because they're going to preach to you the most. That's the most important thing. So, yeah. Go follow me on TikTok. I might throw some TikToks. I might not make some TikToks. I have so many to make. I mean, so many to um post. And then tomorrow i might just make tiktoks because i'm not going to be doing them but sit in my room anyways because my mom and them will be on a plane going to orlando and tay will be at work till 11 o'clock at night so i have nothing to do with my life but take pictures and look good so if you want to be my friend dm me on instagram unless you're a dude do not dm me on instagram um i'll be trying to text people back on instagram but it kind of get hard because like it's like Fake pages be texting me. Real pages be texting me. So, I don't be knowing who to text back. But, I'm in love with my hair. Y'all know, last time I got these, they were, like, the big, big ones. Now, this time, I got, like, the smaller ones. My hairstylist, I am in love with how her work is. Like, I used to always go get my hair done by people. And, I, like, I wouldn't love it. You know? I was just like, oh, okay. It's good for the time being. When I go to my hairstylist now, and I've been going to her since I was in ninth grade. So, for the past, like, what? Five years? six years i've been going to her i love my hair every single time like it's something that's like i cherish and i love to show off so yeah today i'm gonna post her work on all my social medias go follow my social media so you can know her work and her you know if you're ever in the cincinnati area you can always book your appointments periods so yeah these is the styles I'm going to try to, like, work something out with my stylist that, like, if y'all, if y'all know me and you book with her, you get, like, a little discount. Like, maybe, like, $10 off or something. I don't know. I'm going to talk to my stylist and see what she think. But I don't even think nobody from the Cincinnati area. Look how much better the lighting is over here. But I don't be giving a shit. I be using this lighting. Look, it looks so dark. And then over here, it looks so natural. But yeah, look at my hair, y'all. It looks so good. Along with my pimple. It's just looking good, too. Ain't that right? I have nothing to prop y'all up on. Respectfully. Am I the only one people in just now in my, like, videos playing in the background? But y'all yeah, watching Sister Forever. Because I always watch them. Like, give me a day I'm not watching them. And you'll probably have a heart attack. Yeah, I watch their videos like every single day. I have like a lot of staple YouTubers I watch. I'm about to tell y'all them. So, with me personally, I watch Family. 
bloggers i know people like this grade family vloggers for posting their children on social media or whatever which i have no problem with i don't see nothing wrong with that I post my cousins on social media all the damn time it's just like if you have a facebook page and you're posting your kid on facebook to me but yeah i'm about my business but yeah so i love family vloggers so i watch just fam i watch sun kiss mama um which i know a lot of people like right now they're hating on them but me personally i like their videos and i don't go by the trend and what's going on i go by who i genuinely like so i watch eliana brown i watch sun kiss mama i watch just fam i watch the vlogs who else i watch um, I, I obviously, if they're the people that can come to my head, then they're the people I watch the most. So, yeah, they're the people I watch. Not really that many people. Um, I watch some other people too, but I don't know their names. I forgot. It just be popping up, and I'd be like, "Oh, I watch them every day." Like, oh, I know about their life. So <laughs> then I'll turn it on. But yeah. So, y'all, I beat my face, and I couldn't even show y'all because my phone, in the mix of everything, broke. So, I'm on my phone right now, but when I was in the middle of beating my face, my phone had died on that last clip, the last video. Don't mind that little patch, but my phone had died. And when my phone had died, it was like tripping like full on tripping like the camera still is tripping like i don't know what happened it's letting me film right now but it's tweaking so my phone had died i plugged it into the charger i went to turn my phone on and it said connect your charger to an apple computer or an ipad mind you my ipad is messed up so like it's, it's not about to connect then how the hell are you gonna put a power cord in your phone and the fucking ipad you know, so I'm like freaking the fuck out. Like, what the hell is going on? Like, at this point, everything keeps going wrong. Like, anything that could have went wrong today has gone wrong. And it's only 4 o'clock. So, like, and I've only been up for like 5, 6 hours. I have not even been up that long. So, it's like, bro, what the fuck? Like, everything has been going wrong. Woke up to a broken controller. I had to go buy, I had to go buy a new controller woke up to his headset broke we had to go he had to buy a new headset luckily we both had warranty so we did not have to buy it only thing we had to buy was our warranties which my warranty was 13 dollars for this controller and then his was like 10 so it's like bro everything has been going wrong because she's been a whole bunch of drama in this fucking house like oh my god y'all i think i'm about to throw away this trash and take a fucking nap because i'm zoned out I beat my face. I'm about to put on a different outfit. Well, a different shirt. Because I already just put these pants on. And I'm probably going to make some TikToks. And stay to myself for the rest of the day. Probably play some music, whatever. I don't know. Something to, like, keep me uplifting in a better spirit. Because all of this, like, extra shit is really pissing me off. So, I'm about to turn on my music. Let's get my speaker. Hopefully, it's charged. But, yeah. I got my speaker. It had got water on it because it was raining the other day in the car. And I had this in the car. And I threw an umbrella on there. So it was soaking wet. But it ain't never lied. It says that it can, like, get wet and not break. But so, It can't go in water, but it can, like, get wet and not break. Um, This is a sound core speaker from Walmart. Huh? So, y'all, right now I'm listening to my brother's song. Go look it up. Inky Blade. Period. Oh, Lord. I just want to come on here and talk a little bit because i feel like it's a much needed like topic so hold on let me put this down okay so i feel like it's a much needed topic so um i know i have like a lot of different people on my channel but i know i do have moms who have you know had miscarriages who have been through what i've been through and i just want to say I'm sitting here and I'm listening to Mama's Prayer. That's the song I've listened to since the day I found out I was pregnant. I listened to Mama's Prayer and um, Queen Naja little Mama's Hand thing. I really stopped listening to that when I lost my baby, but I still do listen to it like to remember. So one thing I hope myself cope with is 
when I'm singing and, you know, it's a specific, specific part in the song where she says, like, mama and daddy is going to do, you know, whatever for you. Like, I always just be like, mama and daddy prays one day. Like, she says something about praying and we pray one day that we get to meet our baby. That's kind of how, like, I change the words. And I'll be like, I pray one day that I just get to meet you. And, you know, and I just look up and I just talk and I, you know, kiss the God as I do it. And that's kind of two years later how I noticed how I cope with my miscarriage. But everybody does it different. Um, and I just made a post on Snapchat if you have me on Snapchat. Which my Snapchat is in the description down below. But I'm starting to have too many friends. So hurry up and go add me. Because I keep having to delete people. Like I got a little weird stalking people. I keep having to like delete them, the weird people. Just so I can have some of y'all on there. But... And then the clips I'm going to add into the song. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted. That song was my brother. Well, it ain't really like my brother, but I call him my brother. It's my cousin's dad. He passed away due to the police. Um, I'm not going to, like, say all of that because I didn't, like, ask permission from his mom to speak on that whole situation. But, yeah. Um, the police basically killed my brother. And that song one of his family members i don't know who it was made that song as you can see in the video i showed y'all kind of like the little candlelight that was the first thing we've ever had for him um when he passed away and i like to sing that just because you know to still feel connected with him because he just was so funny and so goofy and you know when i'm having a bad day i like to listen to that song just think of how funny and goofy he was like and it, it's really just crazy, you know? So, that's kind of how I cope with some of my losses ways. Now, my grandma, how yeah, I feel connected with her is getting more closer with God. Um, I've never been the type to really, like, always praise and always amen and always just thanking him. I would always say I believed in God, but I would never, like, put my foot on the gear and put actions but when I lost my grandma, it was just different. It was like, I felt connected, um, I guess you can say. So I do pray a lot more. You know, you hear on my channel, I kind of preach a lot more. I didn't used to do that. Um, when I lost my grandma, I felt very connected. Um, and that's just something I do. Y'all don't have to do that, but that's what I do. And yeah, when I'm when I'm singing my songs, I make sure I'm praying while I'm doing it, and you know, it's like like I'm talking to them. Like I love y'all, I miss y'all. Like I can't wait to see y'all type things. Like that's kind of how I do it. Um, and that goes for everybody. That goes for my grandma, my grandpa, my brother, my son. You know, everybody. My grandma Van. You know, my uncle who I never even got to meet. So it's just a lot of people. You know. All the real, all the real G's who I used to hang with in the hood, you know, that ain't get to make it. I, I be talking to everybody, like, y'all probably don't even know. Like, I don't be talking, but, like, when I'm singing my songs, I'm thinking about them people. Like, y'all get what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all get what I'm saying, but, yeah, I guess I'm going to end out this video right here and start a whole new video. I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell so you can be notified every time I post another banger. Back to back. Just like this one. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.